Hi, beautiful. You looking cute. Parting your hair is something you do every day, maybe without even knowing it. It is something you should pay more attention to if you're not already. Correcting your parting can even make you look more attractive. And who doesn't want to look like a snack? I know I do. You may have had the same parting for years and years, and that is what you are comfortable with. But I'm here to tell you it's time for a change. I get it. That's your safe spot. But I don't care. Let's change it up. All right. After all, life is about taking risks, even if the risk is as small as changing the part of your hair. We have to start off small, all right? Today, we'll go over what the best part is for your face shape, as well as what the best part is for your individual style. And you'll learn how to part correctly and effectively and so much more. And with that all said, let's get it started. Let's start off with the basics. Let's go over what part options you have, shall we? Let's begin with the center part. This is a center part. It's cute on most people and it's a very current hip style. It's great with a lot of different kinds of styles, wavy, straight, there's many options. It's just a great all around look. Love it, one of my favorites at the moment. Next we have the off center. <gasps> Oh my God. Similar to the center part, this is just slightly off from the center. So it's just like maybe like a centimeter, two centimeters off from the center, just to, you know, make it not too perfectly down the middle because middle parts can often make the symmetry of your face stand out more. And if your face isn't symmetrical, then we'll f <laughs> What do we do, you know? So the off center is great if people don't have perfectly symmetrical faces and you wanna just bring that eye, not to the center, but a little bit off. Also quite a trendy look and just beautiful overall and you really can't go wrong. This is great for people trying to offset a feature on their face. Maybe they have a larger nose. Maybe their nose is a little crooked. If you wanna offset it, but also have the center part at the same time, this is your go-to. Now we have the side part. The side part is a much edgier look in my opinion. It's great for those really sexy blown out hair moments. I don't know, I love a good side part when I blow out the hair and like push one side behind the ear. You know what I mean? Like it's just really cute. Now with the side part, you have two options. You can either go side all the way back. You can also go side to center, which is gonna give you more volume and less of that really like woo, side parted look if you know what I mean. You don't know what I mean? Okay, well. Try again next time. Lastly, we have the zigzag part. This part can be on the side or in the middle. It's like this, you know, what a wave looks like. It's nice and jagged. I don't know, it's just an easy one to do to give you a lot of life and volume in your hair and also kind of offset the eye. It's like, where's that part going? You don't know, it's like all zigzaggy. It's like a fun look. It's also great for those really lived in beach waves with this really lived in part that's all kind of all over the place. Like you just woke up. Honestly, can be super freaking cute. Well, now that we discovered which parts are which, let's move on to figuring out what the best part is for your face shape. Now for this portion, it's going to be important that you know what your face shape is, obviously. If you don't know what your face shape is, well, there is a video linked below by me that I made telling you guys how to figure out what your face shape is. And I break it down into very simple terms. So once you watch that, you can come back here and we can decide together what your part should be because it's important, all right? And before I do that, one last thing. Remember that these are just recommendations from me, okay? Rules are meant to be broken once you learn them. Take this all with a grain of salt. You can really do whatever you want with your part, whatever you're feeling like. I think this will spark your imagination and this will help you move forward if you're kind of struggling with what part you should be doing and what part you should change your hair to if you've been parting it the same way for so long. For everybody with round faces, the best part for you, in my opinion, would be a center part. That is because the center part will actually elongate the face because all the attention is going right down the middle and nothing on the side. However, a side part is also beautiful. I mean, just really depending on what style you go with, but center part would be my all-time recommendation for A, circular. Face. Now we have the oval face. And ovals, you guys already know, you have the most optimal face shape. So really any part will look great. But try a slightly off-centered part or try the opposite of what you've been doing for a long time. Switch it up, have fun with it. Try a middle part if you've never done it before. Also for the oval, I really like a zigzag part. That is because I feel like when you have a lot of volume in your face, you should have a lot of volume in your hair too. It just complements each other beautifully. And the zigzag parting will give you amazing volume. I'm sure it'll look amazing on you. Square, 
Hi, I love a good center part or a good slightly off center part for our square ladies out there or men. A center part will elongate your face like we just went over with the round face shape. And maybe if you tuck it behind your ears just a little bit, it'll really accentuate your cheekbones and decrease the length of your jaw. It'll make you look more angular and more oval. Heart shape. <laughs> a lot of people with heart shaped faces have what's called a widow's peak where it kind of comes to a point in the center. When people have widow's peaks, I tend to maybe not do so many middle parts with them just because it's really difficult and the hair just tends to fall in their faces a lot. So try doing an off center or a side part with your face shape. It'll decrease your forehead length and it'll create the illusion of a thinner face. And who doesn't like to be a skinny legend? Now we have the diamond and yes, I nearly did forget about the diamond and I'm here doing a voiceover. Now I love a center part for a diamond face or a zigzag part. So a center part will elongate the face like we went over before. However, really any part with this face shape looks very elegant and beautiful. But if you're looking for the most optimal parting, I would say probably a center part. For the oblong, I tend to enjoy a nice center part with a nice sweet sweeping bang maybe, or a nice blown out moment off to the side. That will decrease the length up here. And a oblong face is quite long. So it is like a rectangle with the rounded edges. So you're trying to decrease the length and that will do the trick if you add a nice sweeping blowout or curls or a bang moment with a center part. Also slightly off center will look great for you and do the same exact thing. Whoa, you're so close. So two things I like to have when I'm parting hair is a brush of any kind. I mean like a paddle brush or a natural bristle brush like mine um, is pretty ideal. I like to just brush all of the hair back, really get in there and get aggressive with it. Brush all of the hair away from the face. Now that we have it all back, we are not gonna be using a tail comb. I don't know why people use these. It's effective, but it's not that easy. And the parts just never come out that good. Like when you're using this to part back, like, I don't know, it's just like not good. And it's better for like when you're foiling or doing color or something like that, or you're doing like an updo. But for just regular parting, I feel like you get the most precise part with one of these. You see those teeth are missing right there. That thing will give you a great part. Also also the wider teeth on one end and the closer teeth on the other end. And now instead of going like this, which is what most people do when they part it back with the comb up like that, you're gonna lay the comb down. Place the beginning where you want it to go and use the end of the comb to part. And it'll give you a nice clean parting. And there we go, a beautiful, little part. I don't know how you do it, but that's how I do it. All right, now that we learned how to use a comb, let's go over another topic, which is how to train your hair because some hair can be really f stubborn and you just want to be like, <laughs> Let me part it where I want to part it. And it's like, no, Becky, I don't want to part that direction. And you're like, F you. I'm gonna make you part the way I want you to part. If you have that problem, well, I'm here to help you. You can actually train your hair slightly on which direction it should grow in. Now, if you've been parting it to the side your whole entire life, sometimes it is, I'm not gonna lie, really difficult to part in the center. But the direction of your hair growth is manipulated by the way you part it. So if you continuously part it in the center, it will tend to stay like that. But it does take a little bit of work and and you really gotta maneuver that hair and keep it over to the side and go through those kind of awkward moments in order to get to the good part, which is when you just wake up and your hair is perfect, you know? And so additionally to this, you wanna make sure you're parting your hair when it is wet. I mean, really wet, like right out of the shower wet. And you wanna part it with a fine tooth comb. Make sure you really comb all the hair in the directions you want and let it dry like that or blow dry it like that. And if you do blow dry, make sure you're using your blow dryer on a low heat setting, that way you don't burn your scalp and you can kind of keep the heat there for longer. And then after you use the blow dryer on your part, you can put it literally directly on your head usually, and then hold it down with your hand and put one of these clips on there and let it set in place for about five to 10 minutes and then take it off and your parting should be beautiful. Another thing you can do if you like a very voluminous hair and your hair doesn't like to part and one side's flat, one side's voluminous, is just add a little bit of volume to that one side with the blow dryer and round brush and then leave the other one as is. And that will kind of even out the volume problem you're having on one side and not the other. It's not a problem actually, who doesn't love volume? And then lastly, make sure you are finishing your style with a hairspray or a balm or some styling cream or anything like that to keep it in place. I love BDSM for that. It tames flyaways and make sure your part stays in the place you put it. It's amazing, it's flexible and hydrating and it makes your hair super shiny and beautiful. But in any case, just make sure you are using a finishing product. <sighs> 
Anyways, you guys, we went over so much today. I hope you learned a thing or two about how to part your hair and where to part it. And maybe you're gonna try a new look. I love that. Send me pics, let me know how it goes. And it's really just about having fun and trying out different looks. Maybe you try a different look for a day and it doesn't work out for you. Then go back, that's fine. At least you tried it, you know? You know what they say, you only got one life, make sure you part in all different directions. Go based off what you feel for the day or maybe go based off how you're styling your hair that day. Is it wavy? Maybe do a side part. Is it straight? maybe do a center part or vice versa. Or maybe you have some kind of insecurity like a receding hairline or a larger nose, larger eyes, anything like that. You can kind of mask those problems with a side part and you can do all sorts of things to not bring as so much attention to those areas you don't like about your face. But overall, just do whatever makes you feel like the best you and just live your extra life. Alrighty, well, with that all said, you guys, make sure you follow me on all the different social media networks, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at Bradmon to NYC. Also make sure you check out my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under Brad Mondo. And lastly, check out my hair care line, xmondo hair at xmondohair.com and check out our Instagram for updates on new product launches happening all the damn time. If you want beautiful, fabulous, sexy, amazing, beautiful hair, check us out. And that is all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. This is Hydromania, our conditioning mist. Hydromania is for those of you looking for hydrated, silky, soft, shiny hair, which I think is all of you. This is guaranteed to make your hair way more manageable, detangled, smooth, and just all around fabulous.